I pity the fool who missed out on this phenomenal figure. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Grim Reaper Kyle Riker, representing the Crash and Bear Wrestling Podcast and the Gladiators, coming at you with another video review. And today, I'll be reviewing the new San Diego Comic Con exclusive WE Elite Collection Mr. T figure. That's right, I am so excited to have this figure. Mr. T has been definitely one of my most requested figures from Mattel, and it was definitely a figure I didn't think would happen because usually they never do celebrities. But 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 some celebrities are starting to sign merchandise deals with WWE, so they're making figures of them if they ever made, you know, appearances in WWE, such as Mr. T from the '80s. Yeah, so I'm definitely glad to see Mr. T signing a merchandise deal, and we're getting quite a few figures of him. And speaking of merchandise, for any fan of my YouTube channel, if you're interested in getting, you know, like, like a T-shirt with my name on it, you can click the link in the description below. It'll take you to Bonfire.com. You can buy the brand new Kyle Riker T-shirt that is available for a limited time. And if it sells well enough, I'll be selling more merch, you know, very, very soon. And they will be permanently available instead of a limited time like this one. So click the link in the description below if you're interested. Anyways, onto the figure. Now, the figure comes shipped in this standard gold, uh, well, red packaging with the gold chains, with the Elite Collection logo. See, it's just standard. And then the, in the back just has the WWE logo. Now, usually with the Comic Con Swiss, they always ship their figures in you know this type of you know sleeve, and then you open this up up here to slide out the actual figure itself, which we have right here with this gorgeous packaging right here. It's pretty much like the the artwork from WrestleMania One, kind of like in that style, which is actually pretty cool. So it's 2020, the old school W logo, Mr. T written in the font style of the very first WrestleMania. Got a picture of him right there. First time the line, Elite Collection. On the side, Mr. T. It's kind of like a VHS style packaging, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then on the back, we got a picture of Mr. T right there. Various moments. I pee you, foo! Got a little bio right there. You can pause right there if you want to read. Mr. T, 25 points of articulation. And I love this warning label. Failure to purchase a Mr. T action figure may cause lack of coolness. Mr. T pities the fool that don't be cool. That's actually really cool. And then you open this up. I got pictures of Mr. T from his various moments in WE back in the day. Then we got the figure itself in kind of like this like foggy um, cover. But it, it actually looks better on camera, but in person it's like, it's like really foggy. It's like you can't even see it. So, so then what you do is you take this little piece out by these two tabs. And then you can pull the shell, uh, you know, the plastic shell out and then you just cut the rubber bands and there you go, you can take the figure out, piece of cake. Which is great in case you change your mind and you want to put the figure back in the package. So there's like no tape you had to cut. So that's great. So anyways, enough talk. I'm very excited for this figure. So let's get him open and see what we got. We'll be right back. All right, so here we have Mr. T open up another package. Now this figure is freaking amazing. This is honestly one of the top 10 best figures of the entire year in my personal opinion. What a great figure. And, it, and I think it, it's definitely worth the, the asking price for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. You know, because of all the accessories you get, the exclusive packaging, like, it's just great. Now, first up is accessories. It comes with a pair of interchangeable hands. And there's actually a reason uh, for these uh, in a second. Which I'll tell you that in a second. Anyways, and that's because on these hands, he has his um, his rings on his hands, which are actually molded. You can't take them off. So if you wanted to have him, you know, wrestle, you could swap these out for just standard um, hands. So that's why he comes with, a, you know, a second pair of hands. He also comes with uh, his chains, which which can come right off. Now it's all one piece. You know, it's not like it's not like a bunch of chains or anything, which I like. And the chains are actually pretty cool. It's pretty much the standard uh, chains that, that he usually has. comes with the white belt, which is pretty nice. However, I could not find a single picture of him with, you know, not, not only this red, this red white belt, but him actually wearing this outfit with this belt. And I'm glad they gave him you know, the, the camo outfit, because this is pretty much what he looked like for the most part in the 80s. You know, a uh, camouflage uh, shirt, wolf jacket with the, with the chains, the gauntlets, the jewelry, and the white belt. So that's actually pretty cool. But now the belt, I have yet to see a picture of his belt looking this color. It's uh, Most of the pictures I've seen have been like this, like a much darker color. So I don't know how they got red from that. Whatever. Anyway, so the chains come right off. Then you can unclip the weight belt. It's pretty much like a championship belt. 
That's pretty nice. Just wish it was the right color. And now the gauntlet has a little clip right there, which it can come right off. But you need to actually take that off first before you take the shirt off. And then is Velcro removable. It can come just like that. And then to actually get him ready for in-ring action, what you do is you swap the hands out. There we go. You can swap that on. So you just twist it and, and very gently push it in. That way you don't break it. And then do the same with the, the other one. And then for this one, you actually take the uh, his gold bracelet off, which mine's actually stuck. There we go, because it's new. It got stuck on there. And I love the sculpted detail on that one. It's pretty cool. And then take the regular hand and pop that in. And there you have it. Yeah, Mr. T, ready for action. Now, apparently this attire is from Saturday Night's Main Event. It's not WrestleMania 1, but it's actually not completely accurate to Saturday Night's Main Event. Because in Saturday Night's Main Event, when he actually wore this attire, he did not wear these knee pads, and his boots were actually different colors. Uh, one of them was red, and one of them was white. And he was actually, um, different points from the show, he was wearing a Hulkamania t-shirt and a Saturday Night's Main Event uh, shirt. So he wasn't wearing the uh, the camo outfit, so, so it's like a mixture. But that's fine. I actually like this better. I like the knee pads, I like the boots. And however, he did wear knee pads like this at WrestleMania 1 with the red attire, except they were red, obviously. So hopefully we get a WrestleMania 1 Mr. T at some point. Anyways, appearance is pretty good. Head scan is pretty decent. However, it doesn't really look like a young Mr. T. It looks like a, almost like a current Mr. T. But it's fine. At least it looks like him. They, I love how they actually definitely captured the wrinkles on his forehead. Because every time he has like an angry face or like an expression, he always has the, uh, you know, the wrinkles in his forehead like that. He's got his trademark hair, which is pretty nice. The body type is pretty good. Um, I think it's definitely a good fit for him. He's got white wrist tape. The pants are pretty nice. And I love these gold boots. Like blue laces on one, red on the other. Now hopefully this happens a lot with Mattel figures. Anytime they put gold paint on the attire, it usually fades away. So I'm afraid that's gonna happen. Now with the accessories, this might happen with the gauntlet and the bracelet, but I don't think it's gonna happen with the chains. It might happen with the um, you know, with the rings on his fists, um, possibly, but we'll see. I hope not, because I love the way it looks. Articulation, articulation is pretty much standard for a standard elite figure. They can rotate 360. Can look down. Can't look up. Arms way rotate 360. They can go in and out. Rotate at the bicep. Bend the elbow. Rotate at the wrist and hinge. Has the ab crunch, of course. Which moves about that far forward this far back. However, I'm not sure if everybody else has this problem, but mine feels a little bit loose. See, it feels a little loose. Swivel waist. Unfortunately, the legs are not on ball joints like some, like most Mattel figures are. It's a shame. It's, it's, like, the old, it's like the older hip joints. But anyways, the legs can still move forward about that far. And back to original position. They can go in and out. Rotate the thigh. Double jointed knee. So for the boot and hinge at the ankle, it's very tight, and then an ankle pivot. So a very nice figure. I actually really like it. My only real complaint with it is the loose joints. Like the uh like the ab crunch and the knees feel a little loose. But that's a great figure. I love the accessories and I love the box and everything. It's excellent. Pretty cool. I just wish that it was a hundred percent accurate to what they're trying to portray. Like, if it was WrestleMania 1, make it completely WrestleMania 1. Like, from the attire to the entrance gear, everything. Or if it was going to be Saturday Night's main event, like this one, then they should have not given him the knee pads, and they should have had the boots, one red, one white. But I actually like it this way. I like the knee pads, I like the gold boots, so I do like the uh, the mixture they created with it. So it's actually pretty cool. So, great figure. I'm I'm very glad I, w I was able to order this before it sold out. It took me about 40 minutes to pre-order this, but I'm, but I'm glad I was able to get it. Because there were so many pre-orders coming at the same time, the website kept crashing. But luckily I was able to get in, pre-order this before it sold out. Because I think it sold out maybe like an hour after they put it up. 
then another shipment was put on mattelcreations.com and that sold in i think three minutes from what people told me like less than five minutes so man i pity the uh, pity the fool who missed out on this figure because this is a figure you definitely do not want to pass up so overall, this is a fantastic figure. I'm so glad I was able to pick one up. This is probably one of the top 10 best figures of the year, in my opinion. Man, if you missed out on this figure, I think you missed out on a gem. This is a phenomenal figure. My only real complaints with it is I wish the belt was the right color like from the picture, or if he did actually wear a belt this color, let me know, well, let me know, because I've, because I've searched up and down, and I can't find any picture or video with him wearing this exact belt. And also the, uh, the the minor loose joints. Aside from that, it's a great figure. One of the best figures of the year. So I would say, if you missed out on this figure, if you can find it for a good price, definitely pick him up if you can. This figure is highly recommended to not just fans of 80s wrestling, but Mr. T fans, fans of the A-Team, you know, etc. So this is definitely like an, a great figure to have. I wouldn't say it's a must-have, but... I would say it's definitely an essential piece to your 80s wrestling collection. So I'm definitely glad I was able to pick one up without, you know, before they sold out. Anyway, so highly recommend it if you can get your hands on one for a good price. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check those out. Links are down below. And also be sure to check out you know, my, uh, my newly released uh, merch. Link to that is down below. And once again, if, the, if it sells well, I will be selling more merch in the future permanently instead of a limited time like the one in the description is. So be sure to check that out, uh, check that out, and be sure to pick up a shirt before they sell out. Because once that shirt's gone, it's gone. You'll never see that shirt again. Anyways, thanks for watching, please. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye. I pay the food!